Much uh, across from the entrance of uh, Pato Lake. The road goes up there, up there, kind of to the side of that rock, up to the top there, but that isn't the summit. The summit is actually over there. On a nice pathway, you take this for about, say, five, ten minutes. Let's just follow it right to the end of the road here. Like I said, there is a cairn that marks the trail. Gotta love that. Just follow this down, across this little creek, and then there's another cairn on the other side. Love it. There's Kefren. It's House Peak, White Pyramid, and Kefren. I slept right in the middle there where that snow is, just like on the call. Oh man. Nice to always nice to see the mountains you just did, and especially on such a clear day. So funny story. This is the exact spot where V and I were sitting, and a marmot. My backpack was like right down here and a marmot grabbed onto it with its teeth and dragged it down. It was one of the funniest wildlife encounters I've ever had in my life. I'm like, oh, he's just curious and then latches onto it and grabs it. Once you leave the drainage, head up this way, it gets steep for a while. day when you can see temple all the way from observation peak which is the center peak right there that's incredible all right so from here if my memory serves me correct you take that all the ridge up and you kind of go across those rocks and then you go up on this side of that rock band there, and that'll take you up to the ridge. I believe this is the only scrambling really on the peak. Once you get to the top, it's a walk to the summit. Keep in mind though, on Observation Peak, you don't have to take like the hiking route up. As I can show you here, there is multiple different routes you can take if you want to enjoy some scrambling. You can take this route up, go up you could take this road up there's multiple different ways you can go there's even just a straight up scree route that you could take starting down there and you take that all the way up to the summit and there's no scrambling at all so or you can take over here you can take this road like there's just there's so many options on this mountain so for hikers and scramblers 
it's definitely a treat to do this one. this big boulder little band here just kind of follow it up once you get to the top it's pretty much scree to the ridge and then up to the fall summit yeah once you get up the top there just follow the scree trail up. All right, almost at the fall summit. Views are really opening up now. Fall summit up there, true summit over there. Here it looks like that would be the summit, but it's not. The other side. From the fall summit, just follow the trail. to have a dip, hey? Might be a little cold. Happy to be here. like it could go any second. Man, imagine the sound of that thing dropping. It's like a black hole.
of horses. Summit. A couple of birds on Observation Peak. It's a great place to observe wildlife in these beautiful peaks, apparently. Fall Summit. I just can't get enough of these views. Just in your face. Beauty all around. Never take it for granted. What a place. Oh man. Oh, I'm gonna hit the scree. Should be down within an hour and a half, two hours. Two hours max. Just gonna fly down this stuff. So on descent, there's a lot of different paths that want to take you down into the to uh, the drainage there. Best to just stay on the side. Nice afternoon light, walking through the forest, almost down. I've had in a long time with all the BC wildfire smoke so definitely one to remember and really really soaked it in took my time and oh, beautiful up there with the girl with the glaciers so yeah it's a pretty easy one I'd say it's a difficult hike easy easy scramble there's only a couple little sections Stay tuned for the next video, which is tomorrow with Omar, Mount Carnarvon. I'll be next. <laughs>